Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Uh, as per the title of this, I'm going to be trying a little taste test of some Johnny Walker Black Label Scotch Whiskey here. Um, now, why? Well, I mean, I've had uh, some booze on my show before. I've had uh, Glenfiddich whiskey and also, uh, I can't forget, the uh, vodka with the horseradish and the fish. Um, this one, though, I've, I've never been a big whiskey drinker. I mean, uh, I like it enough, I guess, but uh, for me, it's always tasted like gasoline, but uh, I've had friends and relatives who are really uh, much more of a connoisseur of alcohols tell me that's the bad stuff. If you want, uh, if you don't want that flavor or that taste, uh, get the good stuff. And this bottle was about $30, so I'm, and I've, I think Black Label is kind of the step above red label where you find everywhere and there's a blue label i think and that's even more expensive so i figured this is um nice stuff now uh why would i suddenly feel the need for trying out some johnny walker black label and more specifically why is there a blade runner spinner car in this video well uh the new blade runner film came out uh, a few months ago blade runner 2049 and as part of the promotion for that, Johnny Walker decided to release some Black Label whiskey in a very cool Blade Runner inspired uh, bottle. Um, in fact, it's not even inspired by a Blade Runner, it actually appears in the Blade Runner film. Uh, you'll have to excuse these rather grainy and not well-centered pictures, but I think somebody grabbed some screen captures of uh, Deckard holding up or being near the bottle that's in the film. Now, uh, Johnny Walker has, I think, the actual bottle that you can buy for real is a limited edition. I think there's something like 90,000 bottles of them out there. And although if you were to buy it from a proper retailer, it's not too expensive. These things have been selling like hotcakes. So if you want to get one, you're going to have to pay over some fairly major price tags or, or coin for it. And... I've been thinking, well, I like Blade Runner, and I, I do like the new film, and that bottle looks really, really cool, but let's say I was to jump through some hoops. Uh, for example, we're sort of planning a trip to Las Vegas in the springtime, and I'm sure that town has got a few liquor stores in it. Maybe I'll pop in and see if they've got this limited edition bottle. But if I'm going to go through all of those uh, various measures and pay what might be a bit of a price tag for this thing... Maybe I should find out if I actually like Johnny Walker Black Label at all. I mean, what if I pay all this money, get this super swanky bottle, open it up, and I get the boat gas kind of experience. So that's what this is all about. We're just going to try Johnny Walker Black Label, the, the standard variety here. I'm going to pour myself a glass and uh, see if I like it. All right, let's crack this thing open here. Never been opened before. Breaking the seal. Now first I'm just going to try it neat. And it is worth noting, the, um, the Blade Runner stuff, although it is Johnny Walker Black Label, uh, it's a specialty blend. Uh, I've been watching a few people review it. They say it's um, slightly more fruity flavor, or smelling at least, than uh, the standard Black Label. So let me give this a little sniff and see what it smells like at least. Well, I'm getting a boat gas kind of a vibe off this, so that's not a good sign. I'm sure somewhere whiskey aficionados are all yelling at the screen. But, yeah. Okay, well, let's give this a little, a little sip, just as is. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, got a kick. Um, but... That is better than a lot of whiskeys I have had. I think I could have more of that. In fact, I'm going to. But I'm going to do it properly. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put in the cubes of steel. So let's uh, pick one of these or a couple of these and put them in there just to chill. Another story about uh, Blade Runner and Johnny Walker Black Label. Um, in the original 80s film, uh, Harrison Ford is actually carrying around a very funky looking Art Deco 
whiskey bottle in quite a few scenes, and that was also apparently Johnny Walker. They, I, I think they had some kind of uh, a licensing agreement or what have you. So um, that cool looking bottle that was in the original film is also Johnny Walker. So, oh yeah, it's even got the thing on the back. Hmm, okay. All right, well, let's now give this a try since it's been chilled with uh, the cubes of steel. It is more pleasant going down when it's been chilled by something cool. I do, I do like it that way, actually. Yeah, definitely chill your scotch. Um, just having it neat is pretty rough. I mean, I guess if you're out in the Arctic and you're trying to keep yourself warm, that would work. One last experiment. All right, the final thing I'm going to try is, as per my video where I talked about the cubes of steel, uh, some people have recommended uh, when you're having whiskey, just put in an equal amount of water just to dilute some of that kick. And I've seen, again, with the people trying out the Blade Runner bottle, they all uh, tried it with a little a little drip. So, let's give myself a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so let's try it now, having just a little finger or two of some water to... Uh, Dilute it slightly. And let's see if this makes any difference at all to the flavor as it goes down. Well, it's not bad, I guess. I think I almost prefer it with um, the cubes of steel inside there. Uh, diluted down, you do lose some of the... Not just the flavor, and not just the kick, but what it is that you're drinking scotch for type sort of... Um, Fades away a little bit with that water in there. Uh, one more little gulp. Hmm. I would say that is actually, with the water and stuff, that's a nice way to drink scotch. Um, I'm thinking if you're um, sitting around with some people having a chit-chat, that's, that's kind of a very pleasant uh, social way to have uh, whiskey. But... Um, I would say if you're really intending to get all of what, uh, in this case, Black Label has to offer, no, but use, use ice cubes, use uh, cubes of steel, some way chill it because it, um, it's better overall done that way. And yes, yes, I know, I really should be drinking this out of a square glass. Well, there we go. There is Johnny Walker Black Label. Never really had that before. It's not bad. Um, I mean, it's it's not quite the boat gas experience for me. I don't know that I would drink it other than, I don't know, if people are over to celebrate something or if somebody just has a particular hankering for some whiskey, this would be very nice to be able to offer folks. But don't know if I'm that big on it. Um, if I happen to see that bottle... I don't know. It really would depend on the price tag. What would be ideal, and maybe if anybody in the comments is up for this, I'll buy the empty bottle off anybody who's trying to get it uh, loaded off. I mean, I doubt that's going to be any cheaper, but what the heck. Uh, yeah, the bottle itself is what I'm interested in. All right. Well, until next time, I'll see you down the rabbit hole. Okay. Checked and cleared. Have a better one.